like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You gotta like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You gotta like and subscribe. Cooking with Miss Teresa. 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 Hello, my wonderful students. Are you here to cook with me today? Well, if you are, make sure you stick around for today's cooking lesson. All right, today, guys, I will be showing you how to make some delicious homemade holiday Cold Stone ice cream. <laughs> it is going to be an easy recipe easy as one two three you know i love saying that because i try to make everything fun and easy on my channel so you must must stick around because it is so delicious it's so good and it's so easy and it saves you a lot of money okay yeah yep. so make sure you stick around if you want cold stone to come to your living room or to your kitchen okay my wonderful students for today's recipe you're gonna need some simple ingredients to make this easy homemade ice cream, okay? So, what you're going to need is heavy whipping cream, okay? I have two because I needed enough to make three cups worth, all right? So, you're going to need heavy whipping cream, enough to make three cups worth. You're going to need the sweetened condensed milk, and it must be a 14 ounce. Okay, so one can of um, sweetened condensed milk. Uh, you're going to need some um, vanilla abstract. You're going to need some Cool Whip. All right. And you're going to need for your topping some candy canes. I just try to make this little presentation look cute. So you're going to need um, a couple of candy canes. Um, you're going to need some sprinkles. Um, I have marshmallows and Oreos, but you can use whatever toppings you like. Miss Teresa just chose to get what she had in her um, her cabinet. Okay, so it really doesn't matter what type of toppings you have, just as long as you have something to put in your ice cream. So this is what you need for today's ingredient. Let's not forget about the equipment we need to make this awesome ice cream, okay? You're gonna need a spatula, uh, some type of spoon. You're gonna need a mixing bowl, okay? You're gonna need an elect electric mixer, okay? You have to have one of these to make this ice cream. And remember that pan that I got from the Dollar Tree yesterday? You're gonna need some type of loaf pan, okay? It doesn't have to be this kind, um, but it needs to be some type of cake pan or loaf pan that you can put your ice cream in. All right? So these are all the things you need. All right, my wonderful students. So now we're getting ready to make this fun, easy ice cream. Okay. So first we need to get three cups, and I'm going to stop it right here, of heavy cream. So... Let me get my three cups and make sure that I measure it correctly. All right, so this this con this um container, this cart or container, it only has two cups in here. So we need three cups. So that's why I had to get an extra one. Okay. So that's three cups. All righty. Now I'm going to pour it in the bowl because we know that we have our three cups of heavy cream. Okay. So I'm pouring it, pouring it, pouring it. Ooh. Now this is a heavy cream and it does feel heavy. It's like a heavy milk. All right. So now for the next three to four minutes, I am going to be whipping this, okay? It's very important that you whip it for three to four minutes. 
okay? Because it's gonna get thicker and it's gonna be like a, um, a thick, creamy whipped cream uh, texture, okay? Because right now it's, it's thick and heavy, like as a, a milk texture, but then it's going to uh, get fluffy, all right? I hope I am explaining that right. So I'm going to mix this for three minutes. I'm gonna turn it on. Turn it on slow. All right. I'm just gonna keep mixing. Mix, mix, mix. Yay! Mix it, mix it, mix it. And I'm still mixing, and I have my timer. All right, so I'll know how long to mix for. All right, and I think that texture, texture of the condensed milk is starting to change. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. Okay. And parents, you can do hand over hand with your students and help them with this part. And if they know how to do it by themselves, that's great. And if you don't know how to do it by yourself, that's fine too. But we're going to mix this heavy cream. Mix, baby, mix. Mix, 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 baby, mix. a minute to go. A minute and 45 seconds. I hope you can see that. Alright, so you just keep mixing until your um, four minutes run out. And it's changing. You see that? And I'll show you the end product. So I have about 11 seconds left. Okay, now, I want you to see how it changed, okay? That's the consistency that you want, all right? And that took about four minutes. I did four minutes of that. So now, what I need to do is we're going to add the condensed milk um, and vanilla into the bowl. And I'm going to stir that well with a spoon, okay? Okay. So now let me get this condensed milk. Let me get a, another type of spoon, all right? So this is that 14 ounce can of condensed milk, okay? Sweetened, it must be sweetened, okay? Cause this is where the ice cream gets its sweet flavor from. So I'm gonna be careful and I'm gonna pour it in there. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. I'm going to get all of that stuff out. All of that good stuff out. Oh, it's just sticking to the bottom of the can. Okay. My hand is in the way. So I'm putting all that good stuff in there. Okay. So it's all in there. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. All right. Let me wash my hands a little bit. Okay. So now we need that um, vanilla abstract. And I'm going to put one tablespoon. Okay. One tablespoon. 
All right, I'm gonna add that in there. You know, Miss Teresa likes all her stuff to be flavorful. Now, I'm going to mix and stir well. See that consistency? Yes, look at there. Easy homemade ice cream, all right? And this is the consistency, okay? It's like light and fluffy. And you wanna make sure all those ingredients, you stir it all in this mixture well, okay? All right, now, I'm, after I stir for one minute, I will show you the next process. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of Cool Whip. Now, some people do not like Cool Whip. If you don't like it, you do not have to put it in this recipe, I totally understand. But I'm just gonna add two tablespoons, okay? Just two, all right? Get a regular tablespoon out of your drawer and add two, okay? And then I'm just going to mix it. Fold it in there and mix, mix, mix. Miss Teresa tries to make songs out of anything, okay? I'm going to mix it really well. And you just continue to mix it, all right? I think it makes it more creamier, okay? And you can mix it with the spoon. This is just fine. Okay? Until it all dissolves in this mixture. You know what? Maybe I need to whisk it. Let me get a whisk. There you go, that's better. Whisk. All right, cooking is all about test and trial. But if you was to stir it long enough, it would go perfectly fine. All right. So now let me show you the next step. So, um, this ice cream would not be a holiday ice cream without some holiday candy canes. So, what I did was I got some of those little mini candy canes I had on the plate in the beginning of my video. I added about eight, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to crush them, okay? Because I'm going to add it to the ice cream. So, you can get a crusher, uh, a, not a crusher, a piece of roller, all right? Or anything that crushes, okay? Okay, and you're just gonna crush it into pieces. See, that's how it's gonna look, all right? And you're just gonna crush it, crush it. All right. All right, and this is what your candy should look like. Your candy canes should look like after crushing it, okay? Now, I know they have candy canes that are already crushed in a package in the store, but I didn't see any, so, you know, you have to do what you have to do sometimes. And plus, this is better. It's fun. All right, so now I'm pouring it into my ice cream. Now, remember, if you don't want the candy canes in your ice cream, by all means... You don't have to do that. You can just make regular vanilla ice cream. But because this is a holiday recipe, I just thought it goes with the theme, okay? So we're gonna make some peppermint. I guess this is peppermint ice cream. And we're still gonna do more surprises further into this video. But like I said, if you wanna do regular ice cream, that's totally up to you. All right, so now we're going to pour it 
in our pan. Okay. Look at there. That is so awesome. And I love this uh, bowl from Ikea because it pours so easily. Okay. Now, remember I bought two pans because I said I was going to make two. And I think I have enough to make a little bit more in my other pan. Okay. So, I'm going to stop right here. And you got you have to put this in the freezer for six hours, okay? Look at there. This is gonna taste really delicious, okay? I'm I know, I know you have to trust me, okay? Miss Teresa always says that, but this smells good, it looks delicious and so pretty, and so I'm going to sit this here. So now I made a little space in my freezer to put the ice cream in because we're going to let it freeze for six hours. Okay, six hours. All right, guys. So now we're getting ready to put together some fun toppings um, to go in our ice cream. Okay, so when you go to Cold Stone, they have so many different variety of toppings that you can choose from to put in your ice cream. So I have Kennedy here with me and she is going to help me get these little cups together and we're just gonna set up our own little copycat Cold Stone um, ice cream uh, bar or parlor or whatever you wanna call it, okay? Our ice cream setup, okay? So we basically took out everything that we have in our cabinet that you know could go in ice cream so we have sour patch kids um graham crackers walnuts pecans um that my mom crushed up for me some uh, hershey syrup caramel syrup sprinkles we have some marshmallows and some oreo cookies now me and kennedy decided oh we also have some candy canes some yep. crushed up candy cane yep so what did we decide on, Kennedy? We're gonna pick Oreos, marshmallows, candy canes, um, um, no, graham and crackers. Not graham crackers. We're gonna do the. I'm gonna choose the pecans. Okay. And sprinkles. And sprinkles. So. Sprinkle cookies. <laughs> here we go. Yep. All right, guys. So now we're getting ready to put our ingredients in the cup. Yep. So Kennedy, go ahead. So Kennedy is going to get the candy canes. All right. The smashed up candy. So we smashed up some candy canes, and um, that's what makes our homemade ice cream holiday ice cream. Okay, so we're gonna put some fun candy canes in there. Come on, candy canes, get out, get out. Woo! All right. There you go. Now she's gonna do the Oreo cookies. Yeah. And you can leave the Oreo cookies uh, whole, okay? Because I'm going to show you why. And we're just going to start with four. And they come two in a pack, individually yep. wrapped, four of these in the little package that I showed you. Now, now we're going to no, put, put those two Oreos in there. Okay. And then you got to put the marshmallows in that cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so get the marshmallows. Mm-hmm. Just get like a couple more. Like this small. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Woo! All right. So Kennedy has the marshmallows, and I I'm Mommy doing. I'm gonna put the pecans in this pecan. bowl. Yes, because I'm gonna put some in my ice cream, and that's it. You put how much according um, to how many people that's going to be a part of the cold stone experience, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what do we have? We have candy canes, candy canes Oreos, Oreos, marshmallows, marshmallows and, and pecans. pecans. Oh, and we're also, oh, are you going to do caramel sauce or chocolate sauce? Um, I think I'm going to go with caramel sauce. 
Okay, and I'm going to go with um, chocolate sauce. And Kennedy might put sprinkles on hers, too. Yeah, so I let's go sprinkles. see how that ice cream is doing. Yep. All right, guys. So here's the ice cream. It's hard ice cream, though. It, it's hard, but it's soft, too. Yeah. And it's so pretty. It looks like it's hard, but it's actually soft. And it looks so creamy, right, Kennedy? Yes, I just want to eat it. Okay, so Kennedy is going to hold her bowl because I'm going to fix hers first, all right? Yep. So now, when you go to Cold Stone, you tell them what kind of ice cream you want. But we already have the type of ice cream we want. We have peppermint vanilla ice cream. Yep. So let's see how this scoops out. Let's see. Oh, that looks so smooth. That looks so smooth. Okay, so I'm going to scoop some more out and some more. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yum. So, Kennedy, what do you want in your ice cream? Um, I want candy canes. So these are the two spatulas that I got from um, the Dollar Tree. And what you do is Whoa. you get it prepared. Okay. And you smush it down. <laughs> this is how I do it. This is how I'm going to do it. Okay, what do you want inside of it? Uh, candy canes. Okay, some candy canes. Candy canes. <laughs> what else? Uh, Oreos. Some Oreos. I'll give you one Oreo. Um, caramel sauce. Caramel sauce. You don't want any? Uh, uh, no, I don't want marshmallows. Okay. Is that all? Um, yep. And oh, I sprinkles. Want sprinkles. And Kennedy wants can I, sprinkles. Can I do it? Yes, go ahead, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Oops. <laughs> Jeez. Silly mommy. Okay, then I'm going to have you make mine. So I'm going to show you how to do this first. Yeah. All right, so now. Not too much. You see, I'm holding this. Yep. I'm holding the grip. So this is why I changed the spatulas in the video before so it can be nice and comfortable. That looks so, I'm so gonna good. Mix that it all so together. Good. That looks so Ooh, cold stone in Miss Teresa's house. Yum. Oh my goodness. You see that? So, you're just going to mix it all together. Mix it all together. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at the candy cane. It's melting. Melting it's into okay. the ice cream. Okay, I so like give me your that. bowl. Give me your bowl. Here it is. Put the bowl right the there. Bowl. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, look at that. Cold stone ice cream. Yummy, yummy. So Kennedy, go put that in the freezer. Okay. Okay, until mommy do, you're going to do my ice cream next, uh, so. So did you see how I did it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna let me scoop it. All right. I never done this before. This is my first time making mom's ice cream. All right. So now I want some peppermint. Okay. Peppermint. Is peppermint. that the candy cane? Yes. Candy cane. Okay. A little bit of peppermint. Okay, I want some Oreo, Oreo cookie. I'm just going to be one for that. And you can let this ice cream freeze overnight. And, it, you know, you won't have so much melting, but this is fine. I want some um, marshmallows. marshmallows. Really? I'm just going to sprinkle that right here. No. Yeah, okay. marshmallows is about, you know, you always eat marshmallows around the holidays, right? Yeah. Especially with hot chocolate. Yes, yeah, especially with hot chocolate. Oh, we might do a video on that. Okay, oh, and yeah. then I want some pecans. 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 Mm. Pecans. Exactly. <laughs> we said puh. It's that southern talk. Okay. A little bit more. I like pecans. <laughs> pecans. Okay. And okay, then I want chocolate syrup. Okay. <sighs> Please don't do it. Chocolate syrup. That looks so good. I still had pixels. Okay, come on, put it on there. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now 
Do you want sprinkles? Up. No, I don't want any sprinkles. Okay. So go ahead and grab it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to grab it like this. Like this. You see my hands? There you go. Now squish it up. You got to chop it up. There you go. Chop. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Just chop it up. Yes! Mix it all up. Mix the ice cream in. With the marshmallows. Uh-huh. Get it, Kennedy. So you're going to... Here, hold, hey, I'm gonna do hand over hand. So parents, this is what you can do. Hand over hand. All right. Next time I'm gonna let it freeze a little bit more than six hours, but that's okay. All right. So now we're gonna put this in the freezer for a little bit. Yep. That's still good though. Oh my goodness. So I think you should, I did six hours, okay? But of course, if you let it freeze longer, you'll have a more uh, um, frozen, you know, consistency. So I'm gonna put this in the um, the freezer, but this looks, this looks amazing, okay? So um, come take a bite with us. Yep. All right, guys, so we're back and we have our ice cream. Scoot over some, Kennedy. I wanna make sure they see you, okay? So, Kennedy, what do you have in yours? I have sprinkles, caramel, candy canes, and Oreos. And then I put marshmallows, Oreos, yes. candy cane, and chocolate syrup. Yes, we put everything except for the white syrup. <laughs> so, this is how it looks. Hope you guys can see that. All right, so let's dig in. Let's take a bite. Now tell me the truth, okay? Because mm -hmm. all my students are dependent on you, Kennedy. That is so good! This is really... Let me show you the ice cream. Hold on. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Can you see that? That is like true ice cream. Now, what I would suggest, okay? Mm, 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 mm. You have cold stone. Let me tell you. We pay so much money for all of these different things when we go out to eat. And I understand that because sometimes you just want to go and get it but you can do it right in the comfort of your home especially with COVID-19 going around this is safety right here you can do your own cold stone here just get you a couple of ingredients I showed you how to go shop for the things at the um, dollar store I'm telling you you cannot go wrong now I would say I would probably let it freeze a little bit longer but mm -hmm. this is still good after six hours I would probably let it freeze overnight okay that would probably be your best um, consistency of the ice cream, but mm, 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 mm. Mm. this is so good. Mm. This is so good, and you save so much money. Cold Stone is kind of expensive because it's good. I understand, but mm, 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 mm. it's so good with the sprinkles. The ice cream, isn't the ice cream creamy? That's why I put that Cool Whip in there. And if some people don't like Cool Whip, but I'm telling you, it makes it creamy. Even though I can't see the caramel, I can still taste it. Mm-hmm. Do you taste the chocolate? Mm-hmm. Because you can't see the caramel when you go to Cold Stone either. Look at that. This is so, so good. I want to say this is next to the um, Pazuki. Mm-hmm. This is really good. And I'm like totally eating all of this. Do you like it, Kennedy? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So me and Kennedy, I have on my my um Santa hat. Kennedy, show me your ears. 
It's not an ears, it's bow. I mean, your bow. She has on her bow. And we just had a good old, a good old time making our cold stone ice cream, okay? So, I want to do some shout outs. Oh, and look at the bows. Check out the bows. These are the bows that I bought at the Dollar Tree, okay? These bows are so cute. Mm. Definitely let the, um, the ice cream freeze overnight, okay? But I did six hours because I wanted to make sure I brought you guys a video, okay? Um, also, I'm going to do some shout outs, okay? Um, I said in my last two videos that, we're gonna, that I was going to do shout outs, so I'm going to do it right now. So I want to shout out. I have to make a list. Uh-huh. These are to my day one subscribers, okay? I'm I'm fairly new on YouTube, but these are my day ones, okay? And that is my mom, my dad, um, Asia Love, Courtney, a.k.a. Sloan. Shout out to Renee Miller, Karina, Autumn, Valerie, Layeth. I think I'm saying his name right. Layeth has been with me since day one one and he always leaves me something inspirational he always tells me how i do a good job and he says he loves my videos so i want to shout out to layeth um summer marshall i also want to give a, a shout out to my niece osha she works with adults with disabilities and they um look at my videos every time i upload a video they look at it okay so that's nicole reba and ambria hi i just want to shout out to you guys and also have some new subbies some new subscribers that i'm so grateful for because they let they left me something inspirational and they were encouraging me so i want to say hi to miss terrell um desert dawn and i also want to say hi to a new subscriber dylan hi dylan okay and a big thanks to mr angel mr gary um for substitute day of course, Kennedy and my son, and anyone that I missed. Um, if you watch my videos every week, leave a message down below and say, hey, Miss Teresa, you didn't give me a shout out, okay? So make sure that you communicate with me. If you want me to give you a shout out, just let me know and I will give you one, okay? And I wanna thank all of you, all of you for subscribing to me and I hope you enjoy these videos. I'm telling you, this Cold Stone recipe is pretty awesome, okay? So you kind of want to keep... Yes, Kennedy. I know, we're going to do it next. She's reminding me of something. You want to make sure that you do as many recipes as you can while we have this lockdown situation of COVID um, for those who are really like staying in the house. These are like fun things to do with your kids, yourself, even as an adult. Make you some your own cold stone, homemade cold stone holiday ice cream, and watch some holiday movies, right? Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. I think I talked enough. Mm. <laughs> and don't forget to drink your water. And we got these at the Dollar Tree. These are so cute. Well, no, I wasn't with mom. No, she wasn't, but it's okay. Mm. all right so remember to like like and subscribe share my videos and i will see you on the next video bye, bye.